Hello top team, I'm I for Scotland and welcome back to the second part of The Cub. We're just going to jump in, we're going to continue our parkouring adventure. We're parkouring in a post-apocalypse. And we've got a helmet on that is playing like a radio. Geological samples to test the viability of us returning back to Earth. So, the rich people all left to go and live on Mars. And we are... We were left behind. Exclusive skiing resort in Aspen, fully, fully booked as elite seek lower temperatures and the Highlands safety from conflicts. Hmm. So this is like nostalgia radio that we're listening to, which is a radio station on Mars, which has, um, which is basically trying to get people feeling like Earth is alive. I feel like all the latest series, films and games are apocalypse porn. It's if people can't wait for the world to come to an end. We're already knee-deep in floods and pollution, but the entertainment industry seems hell-bent on further narrowing our imagination. I don't get it. That's actually a really interesting take, and it's something that I feel a little bit strongly about. It's why, I mean, I didn't mind Black Mirror when it first came out, but the later seasons of Black Mirror, I was like, fuck, man, this is just getting, like, this is apocalypse porn. Uh, kind of doom mongering. It's kind of bleak. Uh, and I don't mind dystopian worlds and stuff, I think that's absolutely fine, but there was a... I don't want to just say that it was because of the mainstreamness of it all, but it was just so fucking depressing. Um, and the best... The best Black Mirror episodes were, the, like, the two relatively upbeat ones. Alphaville Weekly, with scarcity in food and water and increased conflicts over land, which were until recently thought unimaginable, the question remains, what magic keeps the financial markets rising? Oh! <laughs> um, Jesus. I've got this. Government carrier pigeons delivering top secret nuclear codes intercepted by a DIY drone equipped with bionic scanners. Hell. MCAIT, they're proving to be very popular amongst the youth. Of we can hug these bears that are just dotted around the world as well, which is kind of funky. Space up here for that. <laughs> but oh, there's a message there. Provide basic training simulation facilities. So why not I've got those ring. I got these red splotches all over my skin. I went to the doctor and she said, "Might be pollen allergies. Might be stress. Might be the food. Might be the meds. Might be this crazy weather. Might be the fumes from the leakage we had here at the synthesis." So what does she give me? A cream. Ha. Ah. Down there oh god, this is <laughs> so, so cutting. <laughs> I don't know what year this is supposed to be set in. I imagine it's just our... Oh, what the fuck. Oh no, this guy's got a net. Go away. And slide. And jump, and jump. Fuck. Oh, just straight into the acid. I like that the guy still tried to get us with the net, even though we had fallen. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep jumping, keep running. Fuck, come on. Okay, he's almost on us. Oh, fuck. Keep moving. <laughs> oh. oh no! How did I not grab that blue branch? There we go. Run, run, run. See, they've got jetpacks, so they're kind of cheating. Whoa, look at that statue in the back. Fuck! I was distracted by the background scenery! Fuck! I like the statue in the background. One, two, three, four. Oh. This chapter's called Parkour in the Post-Apocalypse, so we're, we're earning the chapter's name here. Ah, shit. Oh! 
That get fucking wrecked. Giant crow just fucked them up. I'm guessing that's plastic bags, but they look like jellyfish, which is kind of cool. What? Was I supposed to try and... Oh, I'm supposed to grab them. Right. The singularity is nigh. Technology will solve humanity. The epoch of the, emer of the merging of humans and technologies upon us, ushering in the age of transhumanism. The breakthrough in symbiosis biotech implants that guide our psychosomatic states is the perfect example. I feel like that'll go horrendously bad. Story, but each pointed to one thing. Murder. <laughs> Love a good noir detective story. Alphaville allows entry only to citizens with Alphaville Analytica implants. It's gotta be a Cambridge Analytica reference, right? And we've got the, the Labour Party in the UK that are like absolutely desperate to allow Palantir access to like all of the NHS records. Cause that'll be good. Ah. Yeah, that's one way to traverse the world. Oh, look at the stag over there. That's cool. Nice. Ah, fuck. How's this guy still going? Did he just break my fucking helmet? He did. Oh, let's get running. We need to leave. Can't believe he broke our helmet. What that kid? Your Martian trio was getting tired. You should have realized Earth was not your planet anymore. This wasn't the homecoming you were expecting at all. Enraged, only the captain went on with the pursuit. For him, this turned into an obsessive safari hunt. But he was also exhausting himself as I lured him deeper into the forest. Mm. The Hunter and the Prey. We should do an old switcheroo. We are the Hunter, actually. Captain, we need to turn back. My hazmat is damaged by the giant crow. That bird got me. We're low on jetpack fuel. It'll put the real mission at risk. <laughs> That's just me sneaking in the background. Go then, I'm not giving up now. I'll catch that mutant bastard if it's the last thing I do. Really? I, this kind of has like catch the pigeon vibes. He'll never catch me, I'm too speedy. Holy shit, giant, giant rubber duck. Oh, is this like. Giant water part? I'm guessing yes, and that's flumes there, that's cool. Sorry, I said flumes there. I'm not sure if that's specific to like maybe the UK. Do you call it flumes? I imagine you'd call it slides in America. A high tower immigrant group snuck onto the Hope Rocket. Hmm. I suppose it is just the slice. I don't know where flumes comes from. I'm going to read up on that. I'm going to go away and discover the history of flumes. Is there anything down here? That is very deep and I will probably just drown, so no. Okay, let's skid out. We've got eating all the weird stuff. Over there. 
I like that all the collectibles are kind of bundled together, which is good. I mean, there's some that are off the, off the beaten path, but I like that you can get a lot of the story. I turned 145 today as the CEO of Oraculum. My dreams of curing death have come true, but what does it mean to be immortal on a dying planet? I'll get in touch with Muscovich. Reserve a few seats on one of those rockets of his. Peter Zeal's company. Um, <laughs> Peter Zeal's company. Immortality Labs, and she's closer to solving death. Seems like it didn't. Gun Weedle Man. I came through the time warp in the multiverse to help you fight Turbo Tornado. <laughs> Who invited him? Sorry, I'm I'm I've got superhero fatigue. I don't want I don't I just do not care for films that are got anything to do with um with superhero worlds. I'm not like remotely like I saw the Joker 1 and I never particularly liked the Joker 1. I know that there's people who out there who think it's like a master masterpiece of cinema, but nah, it wasn't for me. Oh, for fuck's sake, sorry. I thought that was a shoot that was supposed to go down as opposed to a thing that I was supposed to pass. But like, even seeing, so, anyway, seeing stuff for like the Joker 2, I just, whatever. Like, uh, it definitely looks more interesting than the first one, but I still don't really care. It's it's just another set in a... Even if it's kind of... It's just set in a superhero-adjacent world that I'm just not that interested in. Should have all ended with Endgame. There should have been... A, there should have been Endgame and then there should have been a period of... 75 years, so I'm at least dead by then, and then they could do superheroes again. Use research links use of digidopamine platform to anxiety and depression in teenagers. Yeah. Muscovich just bought 12% of digidopamine and is becoming a board member. The digidopamine owners are literally buying their way into his rockets to Mars. The same rockets for the ultra rich that are flagged as fake news on the digidopamine platform. We live in hell. Moby Dick or the Whale. Our souls are like those orphans whose unwedded mothers die in bearing them. Jeez. Is that another burp? Bubblegum this time? Yeah. Space Dong. Oh, can we, we need to go down again? Oh, there's another, uh, we can release the fish. Oh no, don't go in the electricity! <laughs> I have murdered all the fish. Yeah, let's go. Breather. See my swimming skills are up to scratch. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Again, kind of cool. I like, I do like, there's a kind of increase in lots of indie games that are doing the, um, kind of apocalyptic wastelands that are being like reclaimed by nature. The reclaimed by nature thing's always quite cool. Um because you hear stuff about I think it's like the Great Barrier Reef, how they were putting like tires and tram like old tram carriages and stuff under the ocean and like the reefs were using them as kind of like stable areas to base um like the kind of rebuilding of the Great Barrier Reef. That's kind of cool. I like that stuff. He's still after us, that guy. 
Yeah, he is. I can see him. <laughs> see him in the background lurking. Okay, quickly grab this. This is clearly the water level. What's happening? How do I have infinite oxygen now? Oh, fuck. Oh no. What? No. Was I supposed to? I'm not sure if I was supposed to avoid that or not. Probably. Th yeah, this is fine. This is part of the plot. He's giving us a lift. Right, kind of. So it looks like a. I mean, if that's the top of a building, then. Yeah, shit's like that. At least whales get places to explore. I remember seeing this one video of like a giant fish that is like living in the wreck of a um of a ship. And it was like like the diver was going down and was recording it. And he turns this corner and there's like there's a, a toilet cubicle that's just there and part of the like part of the walls kind of collapsed on the, like one of the sides of the cubicle and this giant fish just comes it is it takes up like you know easily float ceiling it's fascinating i just felt my death In other news, fish are big sometimes. Oh god. Is he fucking still going? Oh my god, give up! Some people. Hollywood Deporter. Aha. Demagogue Studios return to Earth to premiere at Cannes. The hit-making entertainment studio that focused on our end times with a light touch completed their animated feature Return to Earth, which will premiere in competition at the Cannes Film Festival. The festival will take place in spite of the ongoing pandemic, but all visitors will have to undergo health checks and wear hazmat suits at the Quasset. Yeah, I feel like... The Obviously, this is just our world, but it... It's very blatant in that, but not to the point where it's too on the nose. I don't know how don't know how that works. I feel like it's a solid enough like attempt at making the messaging very, very fucking clear, but it's not it's not too in your face. Yeah, fuck. Okay, so I can take cover here. I like that even though he knows I'm here, he just decides to leave anyway. Oh, so I need to hide behind this T. What is that word? It's... Malin... T... Do... No, that doesn't sound right. So we're going to have to grab one of these plastic bags and float. I'm almost out of fuel and ammo. Just give up then. Go home. No way! I don't believe for a second he would have made that shot. Okay. 
So my next piece of cover is that in kind of thing. Oh no, maybe not. What's happening? I'm gonna die. Sometimes it's not very clear how far your jump is. I needed to double jump there. <laughs> Instead, my wee guy felt his death. Just plummeted. Some nice clouds there. I'm just getting blown back, am I? Oh, no. Oh, what the fuck? He's taking off his suit. He's like, he's fucked. Right, run, run, run. Well, actually, if he's taking off his I mean, technically, he should be fine if he's also human. And if he was one of the. If it's not like generations have passed. Like, if he's known Earth, then I don't see why. Oh, maybe he is fucked. Ugh. I'll catch you. He's got a skull tattooed on him. My bare hands. You're gonna end up dying. Oh no, this isn't a cutscene. Oh look, I've got wolves. Oh god, the wolves are going to rip the shit out of them. Okay. Rip and tear until it's done. I took the captain's helmet. Together with my wolf brothers and sisters, we ate the Martian. What? <laughs> Fucking nice. I found myself in an industrial area. Tiny spaceship. Holy shit! They just fucking ate him. Eventually, I would meet the lonely Martian that came out of that spaceship. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Post-industrial Welchmerz. Greetings, radio nostalgia from Mars fans. I can't believe they just ate him. That's funny. Our friends on Earth are exactly. Petition. Soma. That's a good game, Soma. I highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't played it. So like, the Fallout TV show is now out, and I'm not gonna lie, part of me wishes that I could make videos on Fallout, but it's it's just, I would have like part 4 million, you know, you could play Fallout forever, even if it was like an hour at a time, you know, who plays Fallout for an hour at a time, you're playing it for decades. I can lose days to follow no problem, especially like New Vegas, the best one. How do I get up there? I like that the music just says repetition over and over. Digi dopamine suspends account of insurgency and associated public figures. Oh, we're definitely headed. <clears throat> Can I not get back up here? I think I made a mistake. Okay, never mind. Let's crawl. Oh no, that takes it. Huh? Yeah, clever. Collected ratings of 
Simone Veil. Vale. You could not have wished to be born at a better time than this when everything is lost. Gee, cheers. Oh. Break the glass. Oh, let's go this way. See, look at these vines. Very nice. We're hoping to go back on the can I fall? I can. Let's see what's up here. Muscovich rocket to Mars in the quest for a stellar future. An insider's look into the mind of one of the most courageous entrepreneurs of our time, how he overcame obstacles, created several companies such as the electric car company Edison and the rocket project Hope for Colonising Mars. You haven't put it together yet. I think they might be talking about you. I love how they've done that with the art in the game. Like, they could have probably just snuck video footage in there, but like, to make it like these fun wee kind of animation type things, pretty cool. Whoa! Can I go the other way? Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm just curious what's over here. I just feel like I missed it. Oh, that's just the hole. Okay. I could have totally just completely missed that hole. Hey. Yeah, it looks like it's locked. Oh no, I can press it. That's cool. AI controlled zone. Oh no. Run, run, run. Oh, okay, so it charges. Right. Nah. Oh. Go this way? Oh, yeah, I can go this way. That's... There's a lot of robots here. They could have been cleaning the planet. Just when I, a mere machine, have become fully conscious without electricity, tried using a... Uh, 10100 electrical plugs, no power. Instead of taking over the world, all of the I robotic children are lying dormant, batteries without juice, or oh, the I. Damn, that's pretty gun. Oh, look! Endless. I feel like there's always a big robotic machine in games like this that is like the enemy, or is the thing that hunts you. Just once I would like there to be one where it's my friend, whereas like this thing's like a hunter, killer, evil robot. A lot of cars. Do you know there's a website that tracks how much of the auto, um, the autopilot, auto drive things in Teslas have caused deaths. I think they're on something like 40 plus now. Amid drafts, uh, amid droughts even, prices of wheat and corn re reach record heights. I like how this game is just, uh, oh that's fucking on the nose as hell, third world organic, because that's what we use to grow a lot. I feel like this game works very well as a channel for discussing politics. It's an excellent platform for that ass shit. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, this thing like... Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Because I noticed that the price of olive oil has skyrocketed. I know that's such a fucking... <laughs> Welcome to the Eye for Scotland channel. Today we're going to be talking about olive oil prices. Um, 
but that's the thing that's happened massively and it's due to the crop production in Ooh, that was fucking close as balls it's tied to the crop production okay spring oh wait there's a thing i can hug i was made by poor children for unloved children holy fuck Behavioural surplus and subliminal cues. Susanna Zubov. In her sprawling analysis of the age of platform capitalism, Zubov argues that large companies like Digidopamine, Orinoco, Gupgal, Fakebook, Palanthor, and Gamify Incorporated um, mine invisible data trails that we as platform users leave behind us to convertly nudge our behaviour en masse. Also, yes. Oh, more than the noir shoes. We meet here. I sounded like a text to speech thing. Oh, just fucking devoured. Okay. Holy moly. Okay. Again, sometimes my jump is fine, and other times it is terrible. There we go. Keep running away from the robot. Lime, child. Oh god. Oh, okay, bear belt, nice. Oh, be shame. The robot. I mean, I know it was trying to kill me, but still. Oh no, it got free. Fuck. Either got free or there's another one. Holy moly. That. No. Come on. I don't know if that dash actually speeds me up or if it just gives the impression that I'm being sped up. Go. Oh. oh, fuck. Oh, it jumped up. Ah, oh, oh, now I'm going to have to fucking... Into the furnace with you. Very Terminator. Also a little bit fucked. I just got an achievement they said he won't be back for killing the robot dog. That doesn't make me feel better. I feel like some games have an obsession with killing dogs. I kind of joke on my Twitch streams quite a lot is that they should not have... If you make me kill a dog in a game, you should not have the kill the dog sound. You know, the little whimper they make. Amid worries of Alphaville citizens, AASA speaks publicly for the first time about Mars evacuation timeline. Okay. Give me a dash and I'm just gonna spam it. If any of you have been watching my Hollow Knight playthrough, you will understand this. Okay, elevator works. Handy. Oh shit! Oh shit, there's actually a rocket still about. That's cool. I'm gonna eat him too. <laughs> Might be a good guy. 
He's in yellow, not red, so... His eyes are red? <laughs> the Martian from the crash ship was different from you. He was alone, and he flew, and walked slowly. He would sit in one spot for a long time, and then curl up and sleep right there in the open. When I finally approached him, he didn't try to chase me. He took off his helmet and extended his open hand. So Charlie and I became friends. Chad, yellow suit astronaut versus Virgin <laughs> red suit astronaut. Ecological catastrophe about his life in Alphaville, how he became a pilot for the mission. Oh, that's him. He didn't know anything about my mama. After years of guilt and sadness, Charlie felt he was finally home, although our mutant environment was slowly killing him. Oh. Charlie taught me to read. Biology, medicine, physics, history, literature. I devoured it all. I taught him to hunt. He taught me about machines. Oh, he also told me not to eat humans. I showed him how to communicate with animals. Mm -hmm. He spent a lot of time in the ASA building. The place where his rocket launched during the evacuation to Mars. Get it, ass. So many memories. Then one day, an old drone spotted us flying around and attacked us. Oh, good. Can we run or can I... Wonder is checkpoint Charlie. Interesting. You can see all of Alphaville in the distance. The city used to be loud, bustling, shining bright at night. I feel like what I'm getting from this is that if someone is bald, they're a good person. Look at it now, abandoned, empty. Kinda beautiful. We've been attacked by everyone with hair. My wife is a few floors below in the control room. The last thing I heard on Earth was her counting down to lift off. I, I left her behind. Charlie, the great pilot of the Mars mission. They promised I would pilot the return rockets. But they never let me come back. So how did you get here? The CEO is furious that I snuck into that spaceship and... Ah, okay. There we go. <laughs> yes, this environment will eventually kill me. But I feel like I'm finally home. Kid, let's roam around a little. Press Y to interact. Greetings and salutations. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. The talk of the town at the moment is that Charlie, our national hero, pilot of the Mars mission, has escaped in a private boat. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, fucking dead. As of now, we haven't been able to make contact. So he nicked the CEO's spaceship. The ruins around Alphaville and playing golf. It has been revealed that he has been severely depressed over the past few years whilst working as an Orinoco water delivery driver. Jeez. He is a long time listener of RNFM. He'll reach out to us. So, Charlie, this is for you. Charlie's been depressed for a few years. We're gonna put on the most depressing fucking song in the world for him. All these brands, these tech giants. There's a thing here, a message. Charlie, we've come a long way. I'm sure we'll meet again. Our team at ASA will make it happen. Don't believe the rumours. We've tested the rockets. It'll work. Not just for one more trip, but maybe we'll save people outside of Alphaville. I'm hopeful. Yes, the infrastructure on Mars is fragile, but the Tesla City team will make it happen. You'll return safely and I'll leave with you. Please, Charlie, do not feel guilty. Be the hero that you are. It's an order as your superior. I always wanted to serve and this is my historical moment to show leadership, so don't cry when you hear my voice counting down. I'm with you. We know how deep our love is. I'll see you in six months. Have faith. Love, Anna. I mean, if that's Anna... No, that can't. Is that Anna? 
I don't know, it could be. Let's go. See, I love that shit. Like, the, the skyscrapers where, like, the very tops have been reclaimed by trees and stuff. Love it. Evil bird, evil bird. I like that he's pausing to allow us to jump in and do stuff. So one of the things that very recently um, I've kind of started to kind of maybe not started, but they made me made me think about it properly for the first time. I read *Children of Time* by Adrian Tchaikovsky, and there's a there's a big section in it where there's humans aboard a ship, and they've been travelling across the universe for a long, long time, to the point where there's a person who constantly kind of comes in and out of cryogenic sleep and the people who he originally left with are now older than he was when he started so he was he was jokingly referred to as the old man but gradually he becomes the younger of them and it is like that's just a small part of it but it was something that really fucked with me it was like Holy shit, that will, that will actually be a thing uh, if we do ever do that. It'll be very kind of freaky. Um, Buckmeister BS full of the Scandinavian manual for spaceship Earth. We are Earthlings before belonging to any class or nation. This short book provides a guide to making life sustainable via engineering, management and planning on this tiny spaceship we call Earth. Not gonna lie, I'm extremely pleasantly surprised with how much this game has, like, kind of facilitated chats about everything. The climate crisis is an opportunity, claims Alpha Vilmer. Fuck, we've heard that before, haven't we? This game gets a lot right. I wonder if we'll be left with, like, hope or not. We'll see what happens. I don't know what I'm doing up here on Mars, to be honest. Simulcrum. Oh, no, wait, 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 no, fuck, there was a thing there, no! Maybe if I kill myself, I will be able to go back. Yeah, nice. We'll grab this. There's another message, or is it a bark? to go under the waves with my wife and kids better than any our lonely existence in this hell <laughs> the company no longer even exists what a joke i like the trail of the uh, jetpack fuel smoke and crawling on my belly through endless That one's called Meta. Our games are. <laughs> oh no, not that discourse again. Anyway, despite it all, I did find a new hobby of sorts: crawling around below the city. I do think that our games are like, I feel like we should have moved past that conversation like a while ago. Because, like, obviously, yes, but uh, sometimes I don't think the games industry treats itself seriously enough. Rising humidity and insect mutation behind the Lambda Squared pandemic. Nice. I feel like quite a lot of, like, like the, the kind of bigger games award shows. I know that obviously there's an excitement about it. You watch these award shows, and a lot of people watch them for the upcoming game trailers. But I don't think we celebrate enough of the really good stuff we produce, um, like throughout the throughout the year. Like there should be like you know recognition for you know dedicated dev teams who've worked on 
games to like improve it and instead of giving them like 60 seconds to say their piece. William Carlos Williams' poems It's difficult to get the news from poems, yet men die miserably every day for lack of what is found there. Hmm. That's quite an interesting line. This is a luxury, I'm guessing? Oh, it's Romulus and Remus suckling a wolf tit. Ah, we're like Romulus and Remus. We were raised by wolves. We have a statue taking a selfie. Good heavens. Wow, powerful stuff. <laughs> it says wow, powerful stuff. I mean, I imagine that there are people out there that a statue taking a selfie says a lot about our current culture. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do there. Maybe I should have gone to the bit on the right before, and that's just the way back out. Oh. Let's go. To literally cool down. So if you are feeling overwhelmed or about to crack, crack open a tube of Omas instead. Perfection has never tasted so good. Press Y to interact. Look at this painting. The hunters in the snow. After I saw it in a sci-fi movie. I flew to Vienna to check it out in person. Look at those tiny people in the distance skating on the frozen lake. You never experienced winter. You would love snow. Oh yeah, fuck, we ruined the ecology of the planet. No snow. Almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. <laughs> Nothing this way, so we're gonna... Jump on. I wonder if I was supposed to make contact with those little blue things, but everything blue in this game has kind of electrified me, so. Excuse me. Yep. Notice there's a lot of like. crucifix kind of shapes on top of the buildings. I'm not sure if that's. Anything? Fake book, four news. I like that every single one of them has like the same aggressively pink neon sign. Sorry, I'm like drawing with this. Jetpack. Oh. oh, what the fuck? Oops. <laughs> Gamify Inc. I wonder if that's just gen like kind of general game like dry <laughs> giant triple A's. to loop the loops. Nice. Portmanteau. Oh. 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 What the fuck? Man, he really just he's like, okay, bye. <laughs> Oh no, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna go and grab that.
I like how he dabs to push things. Okay, up we go. And hug. My cuteness is a cover up for the lack of love from your parents who compensate by buying plush toys like me. Holy fuck! Well, that's depressing. There's another video. Doc, we're losing him. <laughs> Not on my watch. That is quite literally every single hospital drama ever. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> Where are we going up? Nice. Getting our vapor wave on. Very Peta? Is that what that said? Ah, fuck! No, not a target! Right. Let's go. Right, now we have to fucking dodge a drone? Wall fart. <laughs> oh my god, it's a bullet hell. Oh, shopper gatherer. Too many lines. Good God. Oh, fuck. Good God. Be safe. Probably not. It's a drone. A million missiles on it. <laughs> there we go, this one. A oh, nice touchdown. Oh. I'm getting weak. Oh no! Hazmat is falling apart. I'm not built for this new environment. And the jetpack's low on fuel. Let's lose this crazy drone. I need some rest. I mean, it looks like we've kind of lost it so far. Look at the bison. Oh, I, I just need to get back. Yeah, that was just a brief, brief pit stop. Let's go then. Oh no, now we're going up. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh. Back here. Are we, did we lose it? Or is this just, is this another break? I'm very confused that why, why are we stopping? Is that just a, you think it's a checkpoint? Is it like a... I think it might be. Let's go. Ooh. 
Is that a message notification? I think that is. Brutalism. In the background, there's like the fucking. I think it's the iOS iMessage notification when you send stuff. Jesus! I'm uh, getting distracted. It's too much happening on screen. I do not want to hear a lullaby. I cannot relax. I'm being shot at by a drone. Control your wee guy. There's a little bit of delay to putting an input in. Right, so we go here, we dodge that, we've got to keep out here. Then the big one comes in, followed immediately by that. Keep it going, dodge that. That one, dodge that. Fucking hell. How have you not run out of missiles yet? <laughs> Oh, that no, that's not good. Hey, kaboom. Did you get it? That's cool. Charlie told me you wouldn't leave for Mars before you caught us. Supplies were running low, and you were afraid to return to Mars without the captain. You'd face the Tesla City Tribunal. All dreams of promotion would vanish, and the riddle of my immunity would remain a mystery. But Charlie was growing pale and weak, so I hid him safely in Alphaville, and I ran back to your group to use myself as bait. Okay. Barbarian bastards. What a name of a chapter. Love it. Hello all you Martians out there, welcome to another episode of Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Make an ambush at the Botanical Garden. Everyone, let's rescue the Captain and Charlie. Charlie's fine. I spotted a child living in the vicinity of Alphaville, which of course is impossible. Rest assured, oh, that's a lot of, uh, complete falsehood. What has been a lot of enemies. ...by the Tesla City authorities is that Charlie has escaped to Earth and landed safely. But they're worried that without supplies he won't survive more than a few weeks. Our researchers on Earth are definitely trying to reach him. Hmm. Opening to Soul Show, a song often requested by Charlie himself. This one's for you, sir. Keep safe out there. Very nice fields. I do like how they're playing with the foreground and the background. I like games that do that quite a lot. They're just artistically very interesting. Oh, here comes this bastard. Oh, run. Come on. Why did that thing not kill him? Oh, I did not fucking see that at all. Wasn't paying any attention. Going, keep going. Oh, fuck. No, you fucked. 
Oh, am I back here? Oh, that did actually slow him down. Cool. Welcome to Humboldt Botanical Garden. Right, smash through there. Jump. Smash through there. Jump, jump, jump. Dash. Dash. Jump. Jump. Oh, it's a hippo. My jetpack is janky. My suit. Oh, I can't. I give up. Yep, bye. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's cool. The wolves are fighting back. Get wrecked. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to jump on one of them, but that's quite hard. <laughs> Fuck. Why? Hmm. Am I just supposed to drop? Oh, oh. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. All oh, right, so I'm, 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 yeah, I'm trying to like. Whenever you jump, the bison that you're on feeds into the background, which is kind of cool. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Fuck! Oh no! Like, that is cool, but at the same time, it's difficult. <laughs> Keep going. So hold on, we've already ate the captain, right? Like, the captain is, is dead. Oh, that was close. Going. Look at all these bison though, that's fucking cool. Oh. oh, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to jump on that truck or not. Oh, I'm to jump on this. And you. Designer babies create your perfect. Oh god, that's creepy. Oh, I've got a thing here. <laughs> For fuck. <laughs> How did I miss? One, two, three. Here, get that. We're fucked. Oh, that's close. As we build our new tribe here on Mars, what better way than to become one with our? Is that another fucking child up there? Your rhythm and syncopation to help us focus and achieve our goals together. We work. What the fuck? And move as one. There's no way I'm reaching that. Okay, got here. There. Tsunami shampoo. I mean, yeah.
Should we consider a preemptive nuclear strike? Yeah, don't think that would go well for anyone. Also, I feel like the day that we're casually talking about preemptively nuclear striking someone, it's uh, too late. We're fucked. Oh, her again. I like that each of the um, the three main kind of Martian folk are um, good. Like they've they've got their own distinct thing. Is what I'm saying. Uber lights fitness gym. Mm. Swiss air Swiss something. I'm too busy reading the fucking. Billboards. Power foam sprinter. Versage. <laughs> Mad respect for the creators of this game just going to town. On uh, all the shit <laughs> that we're constantly surrounded with. I know this one's a little bit longer video wise, but I'll think I'm near the end, so I'll probably just continue. Plastic bag. Oh fuck. So she's still firing her shitty little net things. Go, go, go. It's close. So she's gonna have to be dealt with pretty soon, right? Nope. Almost... Ugh. I feel like I've been doing, <laughs> doing this uh, building top section for a wee while. It's been nearly done. Am I supposed to be like... I doubt I'm supposed to be like hitting her. I've not had any like combat. Oh, that was so close. She's not really aiming them at me, which I suppose is a good thing. Fuck. Oh, another Voltaire candy day. If this is the best of possible worlds, what then are the others? Wise words. There's something about the skeletons just being in front of the telly as well that I find quite interesting. Just like, I feel like that wouldn't be the thing to do. I suppose if it was a if, if it was if a nuclear strike happens outside now, I will be in front of my fucking thing for all eternity. Um, which yeah, maybe. If if they had prior warning though, you'd be like spending it with your loved ones or something. You know that kind of like classic Fallout environmental storytelling, like the skeletons like cuddling in bed or dying on the toilet. Not that the fucking Fallout had fire warning, I don't think. Come on. Oh! 
That kid just fucking rugby tackled him. Class. I wanted to see the wolves. Yeah. Fuck them up. Another kid? <laughs> These fucking assassins <laughs> from the bushes. Danger radioactive material. Radiation levels are off the charts. I have a bad feeling about this place. Before we go on with the show again, the I need backup. Oh. Earth are pure fabrication. And any it's okay, it's just nuclear waste. It's punishable by law under the newly formed Destabilization of Public Morale Act. The Destabilization of Public Morale Act. Rumors aside, obviously the possible mutant orphans. Is that what that said? But don't forget that though the sun may be smaller from Mars than from Earth, it's still ours to cherish and enjoy. This is trippy. And live love to love life. A lot of radioactive waste. Oh shit. Oh, guys, where's everyone? No, no. This feels like an ambush. Oh, welcome to the Mutant Kids Orphanage. Oh, you're fucked. She's, she's dead. Rise up, mutant children. Hunted becomes the hunter. Oh, finish the game. Okay. <laughs> Are we just gonna fucking You fell for our trap? Charlie is here at the stadium, like a chieftain among the feral children of Alphaville. Earth doesn't belong to you, those who abandon it, but to us who grew up in the rubble you left behind. Oh my god, that one's hanging from the ceiling. This planet will not be colonized. It is not your playground, your lab or your property. You will not take its resources to not we, the barbaric orphans, will not be your tools for sustaining the futile experiment of your oxygen-deprived civilization on Mars. Do not come again in your spaceships, slugging your weak bodies in those silly suits. If we spot you again in these landscapes, we will devour you all. What you on Mars see as <laughs> post-apocalypse is now our home. The future of Earth belongs to us. Fair enough. <laughs> See, this would have been resolved quite easily if we simply weren't that kids. They could have just chosen not to come and try and capture things. Charlie seemed fine. Charlie was a good guy. Mars just gets nuked. Take the fight to them, send the orphans to war. No, don't do that. Well, there we go. The cub. Don't know if there's uh, any more to it. Oh no. That was really quite interesting. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, props to the people who are beside me in the credits. That was... Like like I said, I kind of like that there was a lot of conversation that could have been had off of the stuff in there. Um, all the little snippets of newspapers and videos, all the collectibles, messages and stuff were done really, really well. Um, I thought that, that went... That was good. And I liked how all there was... Um, it, it was just a nice kind of trend, I suppose. You can see how it started and how that world is very much like ours if you take a particularly uh, bleak reading of it. Um, obviously things are quite tough at the moment, to say the least. Um, but yeah, I'd say it gives you kind of... Um, there's still a bit of hope 
at the end of it, which is nice. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. Uh, I will drop a link to the... I think this was released in like January this year. Late January, so it's not been out for that long. Um, I'll drop a link to the game in the description if you want to check the game out. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was good. Obviously, you've probably just watched me play all of it, but if you want to go and get all of the collectibles yourself, you absolutely can. Um, but yeah, support indie games like this. They are good. Um, and yeah, I quite enjoyed that. I think uh, it's nice to fit like smaller games into the mix of some of the, the other ones that I'm going on for. So I think if you're uh, if you're looking for more games like this, then do recommend them to me, and I will also play them. Because uh, we were able to do this in two parts. One was quite a short part, then one's probably a touch longer. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed stuff like that. And it can, if we can fit it in throughout our, like, on top of our other stuff, then we can do that. But yeah, I think we're nearly done. So I always, like, I never know whether to just, like, wrap up. <laughs> There's the credits. Goodbye. Um... But yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. So cool. I will see you next time, folks. Thanks very much. Hope you have a great day. And yeah, like, subscribe, ring the bell, write a comment, do your thing. See you later. Bye-bye.